Today, we're making a ghost gun. <gasps> So let's start at the beginning. What is a ghost gun? Well, that's a special term mostly used in the US because of their legislation, where the only serialized and regulated part is a lower receiver. For example, this is an AR lower receiver. If you make this one yourself, you can buy all of the other parts without any permit, just order them online. The barrel, the bolt, everything. So what's special about this, you ask? A lot of people already have 3D printers, you have 80% uh, lowers and so on. Well, the special thing is that a lot of people already tried 3D printing AR lower receivers. The biggest problem is that AR lower receiver also has a buffer tube here. And that part is where there is a lot of stress, a lot of forces, and it breaks after a couple of shots. But what we have here is something special. This is the Perun X16 modular rifle made by Think Arms. This rifle uses a lot of standard AR components, but it does not use the same operating system. It's a bit different modular, and one of the positives of this is that it does not require a buffer tube. Why is this so important for our video? Because if you 3D print a lower receiver, the buffer tube is the weak part, and this rifle does not need it. So here's the fun part. Let's see if it fits. Ooh, it's a tight fit. But it goes. Okay, so the magazine locks now that the bolt is in the backwards position. The bolt goes forward. I think this will work. Well, there's only one way to find out. Okay, it seems to be working. Whoo! Guys, what we have here is a true ghost gun. Not but Slovenian laws and everything that applies, but if this was in the States, we have a fully functional 3D printed gun. It's a 3D printed gun. It's a 3D printed lower, not a 3D printed gun, to be politically correct. I am excited. This is great. So, this works way better than we expected. This is just a shitty 3D print, you can see all of the lines, it's not precise. Uh, we actually made two of these because we were expecting that it will break after a couple of shots, but it just works without a problem. Uh, this one, because of the rough print, uh, the magazines don't free fall, but you can easily um, grind it down or just make a better print. The main thing here is that this works amazing. I guess there's no stress on the lower, the workings of the gun are here, the main spring is here. So the only sensible thing right now is to try it out and shoot some more.
need a magazine! <laughs> The best thing about the Perum platform is that it's highly modular. Here we have the same receiver, you just need a different bolt and a different barrel and we can shoot 7.62 times 39 or for example 300 blackout. Of course with the same lower. Works. It works like a charm. Whew. Well, as it looks, the lower receiver is completely solid, no cracks, nothing broken, and it still works perfectly. So, to answer the initial question, yes, you can 3D print a plastic complete lower to assemble a ghost gun with a Perun X16 modular rifle. So, why are we so amazed by these plastic 3D printed lower receivers and that they work? Because when the Perun kits will be available in the States, you get this kit, so the upper receiver, the bolt carrier and all of the other parts. You only need to buy a barrel and a standard AR bolt. And you can print your own lower receiver and you have a fully legal ghost gun. Slavic Scar, very nice. If you guys would like to see a complete review of the Perun X16 module rifle, let us know in the comments below. Thank you for watching and see you soon. On the penis I carry you to the river.